The United Nations Charter of Human Rights and Freedoms, which was, as you know, the first article was to avert the specter of, of war for future generations, needs to have teeth. It needs to have a program uh, that can be applied to all the nations of the world through their uh, educational systems. And if we can do that, then I believe that the subsequent generations will learn how to handle our difficulties and our differences in a, in a much more creative fashion. I try to share ideas and a vision of, of humanity as we can evolve, as we can come together as human beings that have far more in common with each other than our superficial so-called idiosyncratic differences. That is not what we are. That is like the costume and the, the sort of mask that we wear. When we kind of start peeling away all of these superficial differences, we find out that we are all human beings and that basically we share an awful lot more in common than our differences. So I, I try to apply that, I try to communicate that, but I try to live it at the same time because that's what I do. I mean, I, when people ask me, what, what nationality are you or who are you? I say, well, I'm a human being. Now, uh, you know, I, I happen to live on a planet which is called the Earth. I live in a, on a uh, continent which is called North America in a country called Canada. I live in a province called Quebec. I live in a city called Montreal and there is a sub uh, area of that city. But that's not what I am. That's just, this is just to help to differentiate the part of the world that I come from. In the event that I happen to be talking to someone from Alpha Centauri that wants to know what part of that planet down there do you, do you come from. But that's not what I am. So that's how I try to te teach or impart this vision of world peace, that we, we have much more in common. Let's get off all of these preconceived ideas about each other and start experiencing a sense of who we really are as, as human beings.